ASD load combinations are something that's very important for us to know about. These are the various load combinations that cause the actual stresses that are being caused in the various wood members that we are designing. In fact, the actual stresses caused by the uh, ASD load combinations are, for example, things like bending stress, axial stress, and shear stress. Let's look at the ASD load combinations. The first one just has dead load in the load combination. The second one has dead plus live. Notice that L here is for floor live load. It is not roof live load. Uh, we will have a special one for roof live load. And D here is equal to dead load. Now the third ASD load combination is dead plus L sub R or snow or possibly rain. Notice here that live load on the roof has a subscript R. So it's very important for us to always remember that L sub R is roof live load. It's not a floor live load and that is different. Now uh, also, we notice that this uh, information in the parentheses here says that we have to consider roof live or snow or rain. Well, you have to decide as the engineer which one of these is going to be more severe, the roof live load or the snow load on the roof. And, but it says or because they are not intending for both of those to be applied to the, to the structure simultaneously in this particular load combination number three. Now let's look at load combination four. Here we have dead plus 0 0.75 times floor live plus 0 0.75 times roof live or snow or rain. This is another load combination that we have to consider. Let's now look at load combination number five. In this case, we have dead plus 0 0.6 wind or 0 0.7 earthquake. And here, just like we sometimes have roof live or snow, here the stipulation is that we have uh, wind or earthquake, but we do not apply them simultaneously. The next live load is referred to as load combination 6A. In this case, we have dead plus 0 0.75 L. And we also have plus 0 0.75 times 0 0.6 wind plus 0 0.75 roof live or snow or rain. Then of course we're going to have combination 6B where we have dead plus 0 0.75 L plus 0 0.75 
times 0.7e plus 0.75 snow. We have two more uh, load combinations. We have 7 and it is 0.6d plus we have 0.6 wind and then we have lastly load combination 8 which is 0.6d plus 0.7e now, to a beginning engineer, of course, that list looks quite daunting. And the truth is, is that as you design a structure, you will gain experience and realize that often you can leave out some of these load combinations because it will be obvious to you that some of them are not as severe as some others. But every building is different and you as the engineer has to look at each one of these and use good judgment and decide which uh, ones of these load combinations you should check. And if ever you are uncertain which ones are the worst ones, well then you have to check them all or check a number of them to make sure you get the worst case figured out for your particular situation. In any case, what's most important here is to remember that because we are doing allowable stress design, we want our allowable stress to be greater than or equal to our actual stresses. And in order to find those actual stresses, we have to calculate those actual stresses based on the real applied loads that are being placed upon the structure. And those loads are generated by these various load combinations. And so this uh, lesson here is really explaining how it is that we get these stresses from a set of prescribed load combinations that are required by code. Now let's fill in some uh, additional information over here just to round things off remember now that S is snow. We also have that R is rain. Although rain is something that rarely we have to worry about. And then we have uh, W uh, which is wind. And we have earthquake. And let me go back to rain here and just mention that the reason I say that we rarely have to worry about that is that many structures have roofs uh, designed in such a way that the rain is, is exiting or, or leaving the roof properly and, and this doesn't usually cause a problem for us to be concerned with. Uh, well, with that in hand, that is a basic introduction to ASD load combinations and hopefully that is helpful to you.